madume ka gae na ke kwena moabelo ana ona le bothata ba go se bona gabotse blood vision o dula o lapile ka mehla o tshwere ke lenyora le sa feeling buima ba mmele wa ga go bo a fokotjega le ge e le gore ga o motho wa go itshidulla ge ona le masao a o ka ba o tshwere ke bolwetsi bya sukiri lena no la rena la le khono re boledishana ka bona bolwetsi bya ba sukiri good evening and welcome tonight our focus is on diabetes do you know the symptoms of diabetes Lifula tsukere ka pahana diabetes le ama batho ba di million tse 246 le fa tsenka bo phara go lebeletse hore batho ba di million tse 380 ba tshwara ke bohloko bona ka selemo sa 2025 50% of the people living with diabetes in South Africa are undiagnosed there was a stigma about me for I'm using drugs because of insulin ke tlabangs if you've got diabetes, it requires a whole lifestyle awareness and change. My mom Gomez Zulu came out here was in our so way too. O tla mona holong ya sechaba ka mehla e le mo a hlolang teng le tsatsi lohle. Yena le bo mphato ba hae ba ithuta go bala le go ngola. O ke ke wa tshore e sale a phela ka lefula tsukere di le motse mashume a mabedi a metswe supileng. Na ke bona hore ke ntlile mso mo hunta to a ka tseka ke tshokere ke discovery le ha na sense ro ro le wen tata ka ila khula ka teng ro wa ona ana le sukire motho. Center for Diabetes, Kispitil is Sehi Tiling, Se Hart and Johannesburg. Sebakasana Sequet Lisa Manese, Hutsebaka Lifulena La Diabetes. Center for Diabetes, Ella Lady Clinic is Emma Holo Amabedina Hengabopara. Professor Larry Distela ke mong wa ditsibi tsa lefulena la tsokere re qadile ka ho mo botsa ka mefuta ya diabetes. Um the two kinds of diabetes type 1 diabetes in young people they need insulin treatment from day 1 and they get very ill very quickly without it. Type 2 diabetes because the blood sugars don't go as high as in type 1 they can have diabetes without any real symptoms for many years. It's linked very closely to the uh, obesity pandemic. Melo amoto saisa insulin e tu sang hori dijo di foto e mata aure asogang. Insulin e tu sang mele hola ula glucose. Batu ba nalin type one diabetes kiba mele yamona isa hono saisa insulin. Kale sakure leling mele batu ba nalin type two diabetes isa insulin engata haholo. People who have got the genetic predisposition for diabetes, and not everybody has it, otherwise all fat people would have diabetes, and not all of them do have. But those who are genetically predisposed to it, if they put on weight, if they don't exercise, they will get diabetes. So if you've got a family history of diabetes, particularly, you need to keep thin and fit. <laughs> e ba kwa ke hoja ha holo bo ima ba mmele bo hodimo ha holo lo sa ikwetlise bottom line to treat type 2 diabetes it depends primarily on lifestyle do more exercise eat properly eat in moderation and get keep your weight down added to that you need medication now a lot of the medication that we use is in fact very inexpensive and it's available from most public services Matho a motho ya na le ntswekere ka bana diabetes ko nyoro ha holo mogathala o keneletseng ho ya ntlaneng khafetsa le diso le maqeba tse sa foleng le ba kaletsang hore a dule a le mafolofolo le ha ana le lefu la tswekere ke le na And then he 
But the just that thing I just wanted to do with the Bumapur. In so much that in Nag Anga take it to a two cities of olive oil. Mr. Mungakong Bata was a man. Was I lay one once after three days? Who to a mo on a Miriana canal? And then make it a point or a Kishabakana Kui one, half past six. Kina Kuki and Kang medication at half past six in the morning, half past six. In the evening, eh? How nali muchini ona? How so gay hori uye clinic in Hafiza? Okay, it's a ditiko kabuena, hobana my matsuki rim milunga how. Okenya strepe kamuchini. Ebe wit hava canali ena with mana madi. Muchini ota obonsa di no more. Ibang nga ka iubulela horo una le diabetes. Hase pele zo ya bu pilo. Kapalo na le fat. Waka pila bu pilo botu anan leba mang le mang. Ibang thela uja di jote tuani ting. Unwa miriana, mi wikwe tisa. Diabetes SA. Kise se ing sa di sopa te tu sambato. Na heng kabu para. Harike nengka hari ru utle horna baka utu sa juang. Kigan hall oru unki le tretu ya sebele za diabetes South Africa. I was diagnosed at the age of 16, and for the first two years, I completely ignored the fact that I had diabetes. And what changed my whole perception on diabetes was attending a diabetes camp. Um, and that whole, that whole experience in the sense that I have diabetes, it's something I can control. Why am I complaining? There are people out there who have conditions and diseases that they cannot control and that they will die from regardless of how they live. Mm -hmm. um, but if I live a healthy lifestyle, if I take my medication, my insulin, every day, I can live just as long as anybody else can without diabetes. Diabetes South Africa, it is a bad thing to do with the diabetes of the diabetes of the Alexander. I'm a coordinator of the Diabetic Support Group, more region in Mojovic, more region especially. I started with support group for Alex Clinic and it grew to become a brand. The name of the support group is Carnation. Then I went to the clinics again, uh, starting from 8th Avenue, Kayako, Window Clinic to form and launch the support group. As we speak now, all the clinics of the region A, the Nality Support Group, that they meet every month. Brian ule abole lwa hore ona li lufula tukir ali di lomote supi leng. Mese o sile sa tefula bo pelo ba hai. For me at school that time, it became a problematic because other learners, they didn't know for what the halangan. The teachers, they didn't know. There was a stigma about me for I'm using drugs because of insulin eke klabang. So it had a, a bad mark. Kabo pelo ba hai. Until I told myself I'm going to go to school. I'm going to go in my community to study the Betip Support Group to give education in body color. It was extremely key also to have the support of my family and my friends as well as my school when I was diagnosed. Because being 16, um, obviously still in school, you don't want to create a fuss. Um, but my school was really um, supportive and understanding to my needs of living with type 1 diabetes. So making sure that I always had access to food um, and, that, and would always be able to go to the bathroom and those type of things were really key in me accepting my diabetes. And what's really key as well is that the family and friends that you have also accept that you have diabetes because if they don't, you're not going to accept it.
The problem with poor people is they have to, because of financial constraints, turn to fast foods. And a fast food burger and chips and a Coke is relatively inexpensive and is very filling. Whereas to go and find a chicken salad is much more expensive and less filling. So worldwide we found that the poorer people tend to gravitate towards the fast food outlets. When it comes to poverty, obviously poverty is an extremely burdenous um, aspect, not only when it comes to health, but when it comes to any form of development. And what we're seeing is that people who are living with diabetes and who are unable to, to function or are not unable to live a normal life because of lack of access, um, those people are not able to work. So therefore, the economy is going to start to take a, a hit because most of the time your, your working population has got this burden of diabetes and because they're not being treated um, adequately, they're not able to contribute to their workplace and to, therefore to the economy. City of Johannesburg is This is one of the main initiatives the Gojo's Healthy Lifestyle. Today we are going to reduce the quadruple burden of disease, meaning non-communicable diseases such as your high blood pressure, cholesterol and diabetes. So healthy food does not also have to be expensive. It's the way we eat and the food choices that we actually make. I expensive because I can't take a one. once a week. You know, many people think in the township that to lead a healthy lifestyle, you actually need to go to the gym, and gym memberships can cost a lot. So we try to encourage uh, the community to, to have walking clubs or to start even dancing at their own homes. How na lili fula tukere o tswane tse go ja di jo tse le kaneng ho nwa Miriana Kanako le ho ikwetlisa In terms of of con, of checking you know um I need to make sure that I know what my blood sugar levels are so I I test my blood sugar four times a day just to see exactly what it is and especially before meals because um, I need to understand what my blood sugar is before I eat so that I can then control it by taking my insulin. So what is my sugar level? Depends on how much insulin I'm going to take. How much insulin I'm going to take is also dependent on how much food am I going to eat. Mm -hmm. So and what food am I going to eat? Is it a high carb meal? Is it a low carb meal? Is it are there no carbs? Are there proteins? Are there fats? So, Many times people with diabetes say that when they see a meal, they don't see food, they see numbers. Mm -hmm. Because they need to be like, well, that would be five units of insulin, but because it's this, I only need four units of insulin. That is a very drawing aspect why I joined Diabetes South Africa, because I wanted to help those who didn't have a voice, um, that needed assistance in a way in which they didn't know how to get that assistance. Mm -hmm. And Diabetes South Africa was a fantastic avenue in which I could do that. Kigane ke mo president o mogatlo wa batsha o biswang International Diabetes Federation o fona ka puo le fatseng ka bophara to target young people and really make them understand what diabetes is is to actually hear it from another young person so someone that they can relate to someone who knows exactly what they're going through regardless of diabetes um, so they understand that at 20 years old what a normal 20, 20 year old will be doing but also in the fact that you might have diabetes or do this so that you can prevent the onset of type 2 diabetes it really opens your eyes in terms of what is available to you as tools to really make what you want to do in your country in terms of diabetes possible. Uh, so the complications and comorbidities with diabetes are inherent and there are a lot of problems out there on a population level. The doctor told me when I diagnosed that like uh, five years you were lost your eyes, uh, ten years you were lost your kidney. If you don't control your blood sugar, that will happen to everybody. What we need to do is obviously be proactive with diabetes and not reactive to diabetes. I think that the biggest point of diabetes in Brazil is education. 
Since 2006, we have a law that guarantees insulin test stripes, glucometers for everyone. But even the people receiving all those things, they don't manage to have a great A1C. We're not only just the amputation capital of the world, because of diabetes, we have the highest rate of death after amputation. And now the number of the diabetes in China, the number is growing up. If you've got diabetes, it requires a whole lifestyle awareness and change. It's not an easy condition to live with, but the more you understand it, the better you can do. It's how much you eat. At the end of the day, it's a very simple equation. All these fancy diets, forget about them. We don't use the word diet, it's a four-letter word. Okay. Okay. Basically, it's energy in, energy out. If you eat more energy than you expend, you'll put on weight. And if you look at poor people's diets, by and large, they are not bad in that regard. I mean, pup, particularly pup that's been, and the, way to, the best way to do it is to cook it, let it get cold and reheat it. That re reduces the rate of absorption of the starch. But pup, we believe, not in excess, is a good food. Bottom line to treat type 2 diabetes, it depends primarily on lifestyle. Do more exercise, eat properly, eat in moderation, and keep your weight down. Added to that, you need medication. Now, a lot of the medication that we use is, in fact, very inexpensive. And it's available from most public services. Diabetes is about a healthy lifestyle. And not just because you have diabetes do you need to live a healthy lifestyle, but everybody should be living a healthy lifestyle. So what we're doing is, as Diabetes South Africa is ensuring that our local government clinics and hospitals have that education material that they can share with their patients and with the people living with diabetes in their clinics and that come to their, their clinic days so that that information is readily available for those people. So people really need to start to take action on diabetes, like we did with HIV AIDS. Mm -hmm. We need to start on a global level, start to take action against diabetes and start to really prevent diabetes because within the next 20 years, there's gonna be almost a billion, half a billion people who are gonna be affected by diabetes. If you think about it, worldwide, more people die of diabetes and diabetes-related complications than HIV AIDS and breast cancer put together. In the first instance, it affects the little arteries. So if it's not treated properly over a number of years, it can cause blindness, it can cause kidney failure, it can cause loss of feeling in the legs called neuropathy, and it can result in amputation of limbs. Diabetes remains the commonest cause of blindness and limb amputation in the world. As far as the large vessels are concerned, diabetes is one of the factors that promotes and causes coronary heart disease and strokes. So treated, you can live many, many, many years in good health. Ignored, not treated, not diagnosed, it can be a disaster. We are International Diabetes Federation. Palewa Batubana le diabetes na hente sanza ni njihola. Enyolo wakas khatla seso holo. Afrika borwa, kie ngwe yadi na hatseo of young people chosen by the IDF because of our volunteer work. I didn't say anything, but, but when I was away, I didn't say anything, 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 I didn't say anything. Diabetic, Many of us are Go to the clinics, go and test the A problem that we're seeing in South Africa, in South Africa is that 50% of the people living with diabetes in South Africa are undiagnosed, so they actually do not know that they have diabetes and therefore they're not treated for diabetes. The, the real issue, I think, is test and supplies. People need to engage with young people to curb this problem that is diabetes because diabetes is not only a problem for health but it's a socio development problem. Diabetes South Africa Information about diabetes needs to be disseminated to everybody, regardless of where they live and what their socioeconomic status is, 
what their poverty level is. People need to understand that diabetes needs to be prevented and can be prevented, especially type 2 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes, on the other hand, cannot be prevented, but that only accounts for between 5 and 10% of the people living with, with diabetes in, in the world and in South Africa. Ibeo emu ngwa batu basa tibi nguro unalili fula tuikiri. Etela nga kahweza ditiko. Seo sika polo sabu pilo bahao. Ibang diabetes isa alafui. Ikati sa mafu amang aninga salibelua. Imba, uka koba zohe ka ujadi jote na limpepo endli. Hui kwetlisa, le honwa miriana ibang hosokea. Diabetes South Africa ifumani ya dinomorong zela delang. Noto roberi tselela. Ngwe ngwe ngwe. Taro robong ngwe taro. Oga wafumana loho www.diabetesa.co.za Kapaho national at diabetesa.co.za re khatile de manela khono ar kopane ngape be ke tlang ka 6 o'clock mathapama ka labone gona mo SABC2 e fela pele re tswa ka magoro ge ba gona le ditaba tsho le ratang go ri tsweletse o ka re ngwalela go litlhola sechabet sabc.co.za go ba oromela fax go 0866131227 gape o ka reetela go facebook please log a page on facebook go kwa ka lenano la rena le latelang thele tsa le sedi fm motswedeng fm le thobela fm ka labone misong o tlo ka ire a senyane Kaiba kucho le shaba shaba kwa Afrika borakamu kwa.